G'day, here's another video from the vaults. I've talked about this in, or at least two or three of my older videos, maybe more. Um, I've recorded a few videos for it to do separately, and I've never ever got around to uploading them. But it's a question I get asked at least once a week. And it's usually from beginners, and not always though. There's been people who have been brewing uh, many years that have never known it. Uh, but it's about, it usually starts with, uh, I've got, I brewed a beer, it was tasting great in the fermenter, uh, and then I transferred it to the keg or to a secondary, um, and the flavor developed and it, it sort of, you know, it was like it was off or infected or something like that, but it tasted great in the fermenter. Well, the, one of the first things I look at is the tap. The, the people that use these taps on fermenters, they look clean, they can look clean like that, but they can be dirty inside. You need to take them apart. Now, as I said, this video uh, I've recorded several times. So this is sort of an intro to another video I've already recorded about it. But it's just something to remember. These taps, they need to be cleaned. I'll show you how to take them apart and how to clean them. Um, the other reason I'm doing this little bit of an intro is because I'm recording a little bit more footage because it's really hard to see the detail you need to see that makes it easy to take apart. So I'm gonna record a little bit of extra footage. I'll whack that in the middle just so you can see a bit better what I'm talking about. Uh, and that should be it. It's something to remember. The other thing is your hoses. If you get an infection after transferring, it can be your hoses. Uh, soak them, of course, in a good cleaner. The sodium bicarbonate's usually enough. You can use a PBW or powdered brewery wash if you like. Um, these, uh, to a lesser extent, could harbour rubbish, but these are easier to take apart and clean properly. But again, they need to be cleaned properly too. Sometimes a rinse isn't enough. Um, I'll always rinse them straight after I use them. I'll, I'll quickly mention PVC hose, put the hose people get from Bunnings. It can be used. I've used it for many years. Uh, I don't use it anymore because I mostly use silicon. But just a quick note about that. I had a PC yesterday. Um, but I must have thrown it out after I record the video. Um, they are easy. If you leave chemicals in it, even star sand, they can rot those PVC hoses very easily. And once they start rotting, you get all pockets inside. You might not even notice for a while, and they're just, they're not very good. But, you know, go ahead and use them. But if you're going to use chemicals, make sure you rinse them, rinse them, even if it's star sand. All right, let's go with the tap video. Another quick beginner tips video. Tips in under five minutes. We're back to those. Your taps spigots whatever you want to call them they were called taps for years <laughs> now the spigots and what it doesn't matter whatever you want to call them you need to clean them i take mine apart every brew it's very easy um you can see because i've had a dark beer in this the conquer wood the muck in there now sometimes your cleaner won't get in there and get it or you don't soak it long enough, or it just doesn't get into the right parts. So you've got to take them apart. It's a bit harder to see when you're doing lagers and things. You might not see anything. The first time I noticed it, oh, it's a long time ago now, 25 years or something. Um, it took a few brews before I saw this the, the muck starting to build up. I went, mean, how do I get that out? That's when I found out. There is, it might be hard to pick up. There is a join that runs down the middle of the tap here from the moulding when it was made. It's right there, it's hard to see in this light. What you do is the little tab that stops you turning your tap too far on and off. If you put that in the middle, or that join in the middle of that little tab, I'll line up this with it, then you can pull it out without wrecking the tap. Now sometimes they come out easy. A lot of times when they're brand new, they don't, they're a bit hard. So you grab something soft. Well, not soft, at least rounded to push up the end and push it out. You don't want to, you know, scratch that end as much as possible. So there's no point putting a sharp end of a screwdriver on it. But if you can get something plastic, like this, um, I, you have to, do have to be careful and not hit them too hard. I've slapped one of these before. Just push it in. And you can bang it on a table or something. Mine's been done a lot of times, this tap. I can pull mine out with my hands. But if not, if they're new, you can bash them against the table. And they pop out. 
you can see the muck in there. And you can see why sometimes it can be hard for cleaner to get in there. That makes it super easy to clean. You just soak that in your sodium bicarbonate or whatever you use for cleaning. Or just give it a good scrub. Soap and water if you want, as long as you rinse it off. Also makes it easy to get in there. Then, when you're finished and it's clean, you put them back together the same way. You make sure your tabs in the middle of the side of the tap and they just go back together like that. I'll just show you how mine, I've got to clean that obviously. Mine just can come out sometimes, yeah, by just pulling it. It doesn't leak, this tap doesn't leak. See, that's the little stopper that stops you turning it too far and turning it too far back the other way. And that's the seam in the tuber side of the tap. Now, you can yank this out in just about any position, but I find it's easier and does less damage to it if you sort of line it up like that in the middle. And sometimes you can use sheer force by pulling it out. Oh, oh. There goes a pen, <laughs> like that. And when you put it back, you put it back in the same spot. If you can't pull it out by hand, which is very tough sometimes, something blunt that's not going to scratch up the inside, and you can do that and then bash it on the table. Or use a bit of force like that, and it will pop out. Five minutes and some cleaner, and you're done. If you don't have this, that's my finger shadows behind it. If you don't have this cleaner, sodium bicarbonate, or you can use the um, the Stella Clean, the PBW clone. But uh, sodium bicarbonate is good enough for most things. Quick rinse, sanitise, and you're good to go. Some people pipe up and say, I replace mine once a year, or, you know, I've never had a problem and I've never done it. Well, some people do, and it's something you should do. Why wouldn't you? <laughs> you need to clean. Cleaning is the most important part. It's more important than sanitising. You could clean this properly and things properly, and you won't get an infection. Um, if it's dirty, you can't sanitise dirt. Uh, not with a liquid sanitizer like we use, and if you've got big crusted up scabs of muck in there, <laughs> the sanitizer is not going to do you any good. Anyway, that's enough from me. Thank you. Like, subscribe, share, and stay safe. Now, I don't want beer to start to come out here, so I'm going to have to. Stop this once the head gets up there. So I really don't want beer coming out. This might be where it would be good to have an overflow hose off this and have that running somewhere else just in case you do get beer out of it. It's on the roof. That's another fail.